How should we evaluate inductive arguments? We can't assess them as we would deductions. For one, inductive arguments can never be candidates for being valid. There is a powerful standard we should employ, which is called reliability. We'll use reliability to refer to good form in an inductive argument, much as we would use validity to refer to good form in a deduction. So an inductive argument will be reliable if, on the assumption its premises are true, then it's reasonable to accept its conclusion as true. Here's an example of inductive reliability. 90% of high school athletes play more than one sport. James is a high school athlete. Conclusion, so James plays more than one sport. This argument is reliable because, if the premises are true, the percentage of high school athletes playing more than one sport is relatively high, 90%. The argument would be even more reliable if the percentage was higher, which leads us to an important observation, namely, reliability is a matter of degree. Let's compare and contrast inductive reliability and deductive validity. Both are related to an argument's form. Both are concerned with the support that the conclusion obtains from premises which are assumed to be true. So, so far there's no difference between reliability and validity, but here's where they differ. The conclusion of an inductive argument, even on the assumption that the premises are true, will only yield a probable or likely conclusion, whereas a deductive argument yields a necessary or conclusive outcome. The conclusion must be true. Finally, we can say that, in virtue of the non-conclusiveness of inductions, that they are not truth-preserving, whereas deductions are truth-preserving. In addition to reliability, there's another criterion for evaluating inductive inferences, namely strength. When an inductive argument is strong, it has a reliable form and its premises are true. It is then reasonable to accept it, its conclusion as true. What this means is that an inductive argument will be considered strong if and only if it's both reliable, that is to say it has good form, and it also has true premises. Keep in mind that an inductive argument can be made stronger by ensuring that its hypothesis accords with the evidence presented. The cash value of these two criteria are relatively simple to state. If an inductive argument is reliable, it has good form, and it's reasonable to accept its conclusion on the assumption that its premises are true. If an inductive argument is strong, it's both reliable and its premises are actually true, not just supposedly true. Here's a final note on inductive strength and deductive soundness, which are correlative evaluative notions in their respective domains. Inductive strength is a matter of degree, so it's relative to the amount of evidence the premises offer. Deductive soundness is not a matter of degree. It's absolute. If an induction is strong, then the conclusion is probably true, whereas if a deduction is sound, then the conclusion is necessarily the case. That is to say, it must be true. This concludes this multi-part lecture on induction. Please proceed to the learning activities and learning self-assessment in Learning Module 4. Thank you.